What up, K Rugs the Sober Dog coming at ya? Why do addicts isolate? Big question, family, friends, uh, people, addicts themselves, so many people wanna know, why do addicts just continually isolate and, and uh, you know, detach from everyone and everything? So that's what I'm gonna get into today, all right? Gemma girls laying down, we're the sober dogs, ready to go, let's get right into it. Why do addicts isolate? So, before I even get started on that, according to the Gateway Foundation, 75% of people report being lonely. That's the general population of this survey. So, that's a sad number to start with. If you had addiction, on top of that, which in my opinion makes somebody substantially more lonely and isolate worse, that's a major crisis. That can lead to unbelievable mental health effects, physical effects, societal effects, it, you know, increased drug use, so many different things. So that's a sad statistic, but I totally believe it. So why do addicts isolate? Well, what ends up happening is this progression in this cycle of isolation and addiction. So the addicts using drugs or alcohol and they slowly, their addiction progresses and is getting worse and they're using more. As this happens, they start isolating from friends and family so that they could use without being, you know, lectured and talked to or blamed or, or questioned or whatever. When they do see friends or family, that's what it is. Arguing, blame, questions, back and forth, um, you know, lecturing, debates, all about why you're doing this, you know, you know what you're doing to yourself, all that. And then the addict, I'm sure, is arguing back, you know, why they feel they need to and all that type of stuff. So what ends up happening is now the addict avoids the family and friends more because they know every time they're, they're with them, it's going to be more questions and this and that. Then they also feel bad about avoiding them and they feel more lonely about avoiding them. So they use more drugs because they feel bad, they're lonely, that's how they cope and they want to escape. Starts the cycle back over. Just more avoiding, more drugs, feel bad, more guilt. How do I get rid of the guilt and escape? More drugs, more lonely, starting the cycle, increasing over and over and over. Hey, if you like Sober Dogs content, hit that like, that subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Me and Gemma would appreciate it. Thank you everyone for the love and support. This, this cycle is what that circle is what causes addicts to increasingly isolate. On top of that, when you are using drugs, when you are using alcohol, drugs, and your addiction is getting worse, people don't, somebody who's not in that life will slowly start cutting themselves out of your life. When I'm doing, when I was doing heroin and coke, even prior, when I'm doing oxys, the more oxys I started doing, the more my lifestyle revolved around those oxys. So the people that were kind of like my friends at that point that maybe, um, you know, drank a little bit or smoked weed but never took it further, they saw what I was doing and they would slowly cut out. You know, it'd be from hanging out five times a week or three to, you know, all of a sudden they're canceling more. They don't invite me to this event. They don't invite me to that because they know I'm always doing drugs or I have to, you know, my life revolves around drugs. So they'll start cutting themselves out, which is going to make you feel more lonely. And then as the addict myself, I'm starting to cut them out almost unconsciously because as the addiction gets worse, you need to do more drugs and get more drugs, which takes more time. So I'm canceling on people more. And in my mind, I don't see the need necessarily to hang out with the people that aren't in that lifestyle because I know that I'm gonna have to leave in an hour anyway to go get high. And then I'm gonna wanna get high 
when I get the stuff and then I'm gonna have to leave a couple hours later and go get stuff anyway and try to get money. So I'm gonna start hanging around with people doing the same thing and cutting out the other ones. It's this one, two, three punch combination of everything compiling at once to just separate you from normal life from the world. Friends and family don't want to be around that stuff and everyone has a breaking point. Some people, the first time you lie to them or cancel on them, they're kind of done. Other people, the hundredth time, but everyone's going to hit a breaking point where they're going to start cutting you know, you or me or the, the, whoever the addict is out of their life because they've just, they've had enough. The addict feels guilty and lonely, uses more drugs. It's this terrible, miserable cycle. And as I'm using more drugs, I've realized that the only time my brain is not nailing me with guilt, nailing me with shame, nailing me with um, all these bad emotions is when I'm high. So I use those as my 100% escape. I isolated everyone out of my life. I feel lonely as hell. The only five minutes of pleasure I have is those five minutes after I get high. So I am increasingly trying to do that more and more and more often, which is gonna you know, make every part of the cycle worse and worse and worse. It's like this barrier, this wall addicts put up of, I don't want everyone to question me and all this stuff so I could stay alone, isolate, use drugs. And by doing that, no one's going to question me. No one's going to guilt me. No one's going to ask me what I'm doing and just pushes everyone further and further away. It really is awful and it really is miserable. How do you stop it? Well, there's one most important key step stop the drugs and alcohol. When you stop the drugs and alcohol, all the other pieces become so much easier to work on and put back your life back in order. As soon as you put down the drugs and alcohol, some people will immediately be back in your life and back on your side. Others will take longer, but all the things in that process will slowly get better and better and better as time goes on and the drugs and alcohol are gone, but that is the number one most important key step. Without putting those down, none of the other steps will be helped at all. None of them will work out or get any better until that number one thing is done. So that's just, uh, that's why addicts isolate in the evil cycle of isolation, loneliness, and addiction. It sucks and it's miserable, but recovery is possible. You can get out of it if you're stuck in it. All right, Kate Ruggs, the sober dog, I'm out. See ya.